Good afternoon. Today, I'm going to talk about cryptocurrencies and their roles in changing the way we use money. And my name is Kemal, and my name is Kemal, and I'm a certified Bitcoin professional, and currently working on my um, thesis, and which is a blockchain used for financial transactions in the UAE. And at the same time, I'm co-founder of Blink71. One year ago, when I started working on blockchain and cryptocurrencies, I start. At first, I start began uh, blockchain in general, and then quickly I realized that how blockchain is a huge and the cryptocurrencies only small small part. And then I read articles, books, and attended many blockchain events. I spent some time to understand this is how it work, but many people are still struggle to understand. And it's, it's a new concept for them. Many, my wife included, still may look like this. I hope today, in my presentation, we can take a quick and simple look at the what cryptocurrencies are, how they work, and the impact may have. Before we start talking about cryptocurrencies, let's talk about what money is actually. Before the trading, it starts exchanging goods and services. It is bartering system. And there was no money, and there was no middleman. And consider a fisherman who has fish, but who was not able to catch fish whenever he wants, and at the same time, whenever he wants to exchange fish with someone, they didn't want fish. And he was not able to store that fish too. The next step is the coins and paper money is created. After that, our fisherman was able to trade his fish for some coins that he can use that money to pay his expenses. And banks become more important after coins and paper money created, and then and the money, at the same time money, became more abstract. Apple Pay, online shopping, and credit cards are some of them. And the logical next step is virtual money, where cryptocurrency comes in. Money has three main functions. Medium of exchange, which helps us to exchange goods and services. And store of value, help us to store value in all time. And at the same time, it has unit of account, which help us to compare things, such as 10 fish to apples. Two apples for two fish. Getting back to present, globalization has meant a shift in how and where people live and spend their monies. While face-to-face -face transactions still happening, and there are many ways to move money around, which was not impossible in earlier times. Today, but also they have some problems. How to transfer money? Take a look at typical transfer. First, you have to know how much money are we going to send. There is minimum, maximum, and which currency are we sending in? And what about cost? One of my closest friends, and she was trying to send money from Germany to her hometown. Only 500 euros. And banks told him that you have to pay 50 euros. You see, she's not happy at all. Once you decide to send money, you have to consider other things. Time, efficiency, and security. How long will it take? And how really efficient is that? If, what if money lost along the way? I just had an experience to share with you guys. And I was trying to send money from one bank to another and in the same country because of a simple problem 
It went to some black hole, and it took two weeks to get that money. And compare that experience to this. In April 2018, 99 million worth Litecoin was sent. It took only two and a half minutes to clear and 40 cent fees. How does that work? Cryptocurrency is a digital and virtual money created from code. And it still has three main functions. Medium of exchange, store of value, unit of, uh, unit of account. And at the same time, it is secure because of cryptography science, which is encryption that they use. And each unit of, it, thanks to this, we are able to trace each unit of money. And this helps us traceable network. When I lost my money, when I go to bank, he was sending to other bank, and, and, then, and then he was sending to other bank because they didn't know the, what actually, what happened to money. And this actually helped us to, to work together more efficient way and to trace money in an efficient way. Why is that awesome? It is transparent. That at least you can see who sent what and when kind of thing. It is more secure because it's using the cryptography sign and everybody has the same, same ledger. And whenever you try to change something, you are not able to change because it will be notified the other users. Eliminate the middleman. Still, I don't understand why we are paying to the bank who is sitting in the middle, who is not involved in the transaction. After remove this man, middleman, and it is cheaper and faster because this money is our programmable. You can develop if any, you can resolve if any problems arises. On the other hand, Bitcoin is the first cryptocurrency, but there are many. Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, Stellar, the other popular cryptocurrencies. When I start working on cryptocurrency and blockchain, there were roughly 700, which is end, end of 2016. And today, it is doubled. And roughly just about 600. 1600. Well, we talk about good things about cryptocurrencies, but at the same time, there are some considerations to make from individual up to government. And how transparent is really? And what about the, yes, it is transparent for individuals. What about larger institutions? They are able to see that? And how is it regulated? With, in, with great increase in cryptocurrencies and also, and also the concern about good and bad players, the question of regulation surely is surely to come up. And what question though? How regulated do we want them to be? Because if they all regulate, then do we then lose what makes cryptocurrencies work so well? And individuals, there are many choices. They don't know which one is real, which one is safe. And also, the, another consideration that if they start investing in, if they start, start switching over to cryptocurrencies for investment needs, and how does it impact to investment companies? Some investment companies see that um, cryptocurrencies are risky because of huge flexions in the prices. Some of them have been working with it for a long time. Look at the big picture. US dollar has a crucial role for the global economy. That's the reason governments are reserving the US dollar. But because of decentralized cryptocurrencies and is not connecting the US dollar, people are worried about 
de-dollarization. And today, before we talk about future, let's talk about what is happening, what, is, what exciting things are happening now. When, when I was in Singapore, I see that uh, people are using their cryptocurrencies for purchasing drinks at the cashless cafe. And at the same time, governments like Germany, they start detaxing for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies used for purchases. And on the other hand, on the other hand, we, we see that the technology behind cryptocurrencies are so important. It's not only for financial transactions. And I believe that this is going to go up. What are exciting things for next 10 years? For sure, new tools and infrastructure. Did you know that 2017, according to World Bank reports, 31%, 1.7 million billion people, adults, have no bank accounts. So, I believe cryptocurrencies and similar technologies have potential to benefit millions around the world. An alternative payment mechanism. And recently, we have experienced new forms of payment. And I believe cryptocurrency is going to be part of it. And I'm quite sure that my wife will find the different ways to spend my money in coming years. And microfinance projects. The finance projects are really, has a really potential. And this is already happening through various government schemes and crowdfunding. And I believe cryptocurrency will make this process easier, better, faster, and more transparent. Also, there is an application for banks. Binance is a cryptocurrency exchange company and is established July 2017, eight months ago. And they have only 200 people. And they made $200 million at their second quarter of its existence. On the other hand, at the same quarter, a Dutch bank has 100,000 people, and they have been working since 1870, and they made only 160 million. Well, today, we already, for future, we already talk about good things. What challenges might be in the future? Some people believe that behind blockchain, behind the cryptocurrencies, blockchain, which might cause some job losses. This is the nature of the world we find ourselves in. And on one hand, it might cause some job losses, but on the other hand, it, it is creating new jobs. According to the World Economic Forum, 65% of today's children will end up to work in jobs that doesn't exist yet. Adaptation, innovation, and collaboration are key. And I believe we will be part of it, part of this incredible progress being made. I will close my presentation with a few lines from, from Mission, the online newsletter. And as you can see, many things have happened since 2009 and when the Bitcoin, first Bitcoin came out. And to be honest, and truly, time will tell us how far this technology will go. Thank you.